we are releasing these kids to go and interact with mothers. They are going to suckle this alimony. And uh, that definitely defines the health, the health flock. If animals are strong and they can move at a high rate, that means they are healthy. So today I'm going to show you something that is really very good for you and me. And uh, let's first let these guys settle, then I show you what I really want to show you. Everybody is looking for the mother, but finally they will get to their mothers, and that will uh, decrease the noise. My dear, you have seen my goats, you have seen how healthy they are. What makes them, today I, I, I will discuss about what makes animals to be healthy. What makes your flock to be healthy and good. Remember, um, in all businesses we are looking at things that can make us make profit. And uh, I've said this many times that you guys, it is very easy to manage animals and many people have been challenged by animals. And those are some of my reasons why Hadis came up to give you ideas on how I manage my animals. Because sometimes I wonder if guys get complications, if people get challenges over the animals. And then when I look at my farm, I don't go through that kind of challenge. Okay, I do get the challenges, but not that much. This is my take. I always want to tell you that uh, if you're a beginner, I've said this many times, if you're a beginner, this is what you're supposed to know. We have drugs at the farm. And I told you many times that if you maintain your animal through vaccination, through routine management of spraying, vaccinating and so on, you will not have complications of mortality. So today I wanted to show you um, my kids. I wanted to show you my kids, the veterinary kids, the drugs that I always have at my farm. I uh, promised that uh, many times and actually today I want to introduce to you this kind of drugs. It's readily available in the country and it's really doing wonders for me. Uh, I want the cameraman to come and say and get close to these drugs because what I want to show you is that um, whoever starts a farm, you do not have to uh, rely on the vet that is in your sub county. Why? Because the sub county is too big for a vet. And two, yeah, you, you might not afford to keep giving him money, you know? Like keep giving him money many times, many times, comes driver, then he goes away. You get? So what do you have to do? Let your guys get exposed. Let them get exposed, be with the drugs, and have a vet that supervises that can tell you that you apply this drug depending on what. So the moment you have your drugs at a farm, you're minimizing the costs of uh, maybe transportation, maybe mortalities. Why? Because the drug is there. Let me give you an example. If an animal has diarrhea and you really need to wait for a vet to come and handle that case, today you have diarrhea in kids, tomorrow you have diarrhea in other kids. So will you keep, uh, uh, you know, calling the guy to be coming all throughout? And this is my advice. If you clock and raise to the number of animals, let's say around 1,000, you need at least a vet or a certificate or a diploma to be at your farm. It is, it is, it is important and it is really cost effective than you losing animals because you don't have any technical capacity. But still, let your workers be skilled. So this is uh, my kit. I, I want you to come close and then I show you some of the drugs that I'm really using and they have really done wonders. Me, I told you many times that I don't get a lot of complications in, in Why? Because I have the effective drugs, I have good drugs that I use, and I consistently try to apply the drugs where need be. And I do the prevention where need be. So this is uh, paramectin. This is a diwama. This is a diwama. Actually, it's very good. Many of you people have been having, experiencing a lot of issues with the um, inflammation of the jaws, the bottle jaws. We always have that drug, that disease called liver flukes or humongous worms. They always cause that kind of stuff. So this is, this is one of the drugs that really works very well on that, those kind of issues. So the moment you have any inflammation of the head, you know, and... Um, uh, the, the animals have an inflammation on the head, maybe those worms and even these intestinal worms, this can work. This is a very good diwama. So, um, you also, we, also have, um, um, we also have some other drug and this is, um, 
paramectin so this paramectin is still also the same uh, like the other one these are all dewormers for your animals so if you're doing deworming me what i always do when i use uh, oral dewormers this time next time i'm going to use injectable because i keep alternating for the worms i can use this and next time i can use liver first there man so like that so i have um uh, those people um who have cows and this is uh this has uh this is for thoriosis actually it is uh, a, a, a pavacone or pavection or something so this is for east coast fever i've not talked about so much diseases in uh, in cows but this is really very good for um, the east coast fever or thoriosis or amasio or what you call amakebe you get in your own language so this is uh, an anti-inflammatory it's uh, de uh it's a uh, dexa dexafan it is dexamethasone so this if you if you have this dexa it can really work for you uh, for any animal that has an inflammation let's say if you're treating for a disease you know when a disease goes into the animal there is some organs that are, are inflamed like um, the way you can see ECF can attack an animal an animal is having a lot of froth it has a lot of foam so this is or even hot water when you're treating for hot water you use oxy 10 or uh, 10 or high tate or anything like um i have this this is 20 yeah this is oxy 20 uh, and it's called oxa oxenel this is just trade name but it's really good and it's the one that i'm using so when you you have let's say hot water and uh, you have oxenel 10 percent it's really very good and you also yeah. add on dexamethasone. It's also a very good yeah. drug for, let's say, hot water. Yeah. It's abrupt death. So, like, one farmer was calling me a few days ago. He uh, yeah. was telling me that my animals go, come back, die there and then. You get it? Yeah. And uh, this is what we are supposed to use. Yeah. So, um, yeah. this is what we, we can use. So, this is dexaphone. And uh, we can use also oxenel for the treatment of yeah. hot water. So this is an anti-inflammatory. Yeah. Uh, then uh, we we also have other drugs. Yeah. This is vitamins. Yeah. I always tell you, I always tell you that use multivitamin. If an animal is anemic, if an animal is cachetic, you know, an animal is unhealthy. Yeah. Please use multivitamin. Yeah. This is one of the vitamins that I use called Adivet, and it's really very good in terms of um, um, giving vitamin. You know, vitamin yeah. increases metabolism of the body. An animal eats a lot, and that helps it to build the body immunity. So those are some of the drugs yeah. that I really have. Me, I wanted to show you what I use, and uh, that's the reason why I use this. So don't say that me, I have some other drug that I use. It is okay, but this is my kit and this is what I'm using. So this is also a power a power phone called Thail Thail Chua. You know, it's a different trade name, and uh, but sometimes they have the same ingredient. So this and this, they are the same. They have different um, uh, meals. Um. So this is also a diwama. This is a this is a diwama liver pan. So you can use it also in animals, uh, sorry, in goats and even poultry. It's really a very good one. Eh? So yeah. this is an oro diwama. So you can give it to your animals and it can really do very, very yeah. well. So this is what I always use. And um, I also have, uh, um, uh, this is a pen and strip penicillin. Uh, it is called penomycin. So this is also... Uh, yeah. For let's say animals which bleeds, let's yeah. say you have streptothrocosis, uh, let's say you have uh, maybe pox. Yeah. These are some of the drugs that you have to look at. So it's it's what I have uh, for myself. Yeah. So for the animals that have uh, let's say nozzle discharge, uh, yeah. this is what I use for nozzle discharge. It's called Tyro Vet. So those animals that have consistent cough, those that have nozzle discharge. Most of we use it more in pneumonias, like CCTP. Uh, we also use it to use no more ordinary pneumonias. So, um, for the animals that are dehydrated, 
um let's say most of the time we have animals which produces like for a cows and they cannot stand so this is the calcium that we use it is calcium ball gluconate but this is called honey mug you get it it has a lot of ingredients a lot of ingredients sorry you see how the guys are really behaving so it has a lot of ingredients and if you give your animal that doesn't have power this can definitely make it get power to it increases calcium levels in the body and that makes it strong to move and uh, move around so if an animal um, has produced and it has lost power let's say for a cows and it has fallen it cannot stand please apply this it's always very very good you can do it intravenous or subcutaneous so it's very very good so this is what i use so in my kit this is what i have you get it as per now i keep myself with these drugs so when you're doing your kit please try your best and make sure that you you have all that you also have to have maybe a spray in case you have a wound an animal having a wound this is a fly repairant but as well uh cures the wound so this is hydrogen peroxide we use it to clean the wounds so also have it in your kit um stop blood just in case your animals eat grasses no! and bloods. so no! this is what we we, we have in uh gentamicin this is also works on many things diarrhea it also no! works on um um uh, streptothrombosis no! a lot of diseases that you can use this actually even the respiratory diseases no! uh, this i plus this is also like these dewormers you get but this drug is really very 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 good so i advise always if you deworm your animals like um these animals who feed which feeds on uh, uh low grasses th those that are crazy you can use this uh, to, actually it's an injectable dewormer if you deworm no! using liver pass, after two months you can as well no! use this then you repeat with the liver pass after two months, then you give also I plus. It's a very good drug, by the way. So in my kit, this is almost what I have. This is uh, I have hypodermic syringe that we use to inject. I also have automatic. I have many others, but I really wanted to show you that, the ones that I have in my kit, the drugs that I use in my kit. So let me just wish you the best and bye-bye for now. I do advise you to have a kit at your farm. It is very important. You have to have a kit. By the time you call the vet, at least you have failed. If you have a chance and you can afford to pay the vet, it is very, very good. If you can't afford, at least have some drugs and let your people at least be skilled on which drugs to use when. Because there is simple, simple diseases that you can handle yourself, let's say diarrhea, you can get some sulfur, um, maybe s dime and then you put it in the mouth, or inject it with um, maybe aeroflux, or inject it with uh, uh, um, some other sulfur drugs, and it can clear that. So, please, have a kit, and that is my kit as for now.